Recording is in progress and uh, we're ready to go. Hello, everybody. See, it takes me a little bit to get going here and then we get going and we're uh, we're in good shape. And uh, I think we have, oh boy, we have a lot of people waiting right now. So let's let them uh, enter the uh, uh, the Zoom panel here. Admit all. There we go. There we go. There's even more. There's Jeffrey Stein and Mandy O'Brien and uh, Charlene Solis and uh, Len LaFrisco, who is out on a cruise. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I got to add Marjorie Miller to this group. Brian Neary, hello to you. Uh, hello to uh, Marjorie Miller and hello to Edward Berger. Hello. <laughs> Oh, we didn't get a that's right. That's why you you requested hello last oh, week. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I do take requests. Send the box 191 Radio City Station. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was, that was the address you sent the uh, oh, Ted Max original amateur hour. That was the address. Oh, wow. you sent. Yeah. Really? really? Yeah, that was oh, the address. Okay, uh, let me give you another address, okay? Right. Chicago 77, Illinois. Uh, Don't know that one. <laughs> If you were listening to radio when I was a kid and they had a, like, you know, Ralston Purina was sponsoring a show and then oh. they had some kind of giveaway. Yeah. Send away yep. for your yep. Yep. comics glow in the dark whistle yep. or something like that. Right. And you would send it to <laughs> Chicago 77, Illinois. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was a big, big address back in the day. Right. Um, but you see, you're too, you're just still too young for that. Yeah, I'm too young. I'm too young for radio. I can, you know, TV. <laughs> too young for radio. I. That's see. right. Okay. Who here? Are you too young for radio, Jeff? I'm still, I'm still young of, enough to listen to TV when I was three years old, and that really? was. We got my first TV set when I was eleven. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, and that's probably before you got yours. <laughs> you know, so anyway, we we because we had we it took we had three TV stations in San Francisco at that time. And, uh, so that was that was that. Well, hello to uh, Mandy. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, hello to Charlotte. <laughs> and hello to uh, as I say, Len Lafrisco, who is on a cruise right now. Uh, there's uh, Jeff Stein and his lovely lady, uh, <laughs> and uh, of course Charlie Wallace, Edward Berger, Vernon, oh, <laughs> Marjorie Miller, and of course uh, driving in his car. Which which car is this that you're driving in, Brian? My norm my normal car. My <laughs> daily driver. Your what? My normal car. My my daily driver. You, Coming home from Lodi. Was that a Cadillac? Yeah, it's a Cadillac. Yeah. CT six. Yep. Wow. Boy, it's like you're driving in a uh, in a in a living room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of room. Yeah, and and now Len is on the deck of a ship somewhere, aren't you? Yep. Uh, Victoria, Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Yeah, nice. and uh, how big a boat is that that you're on? 121,000 tons, uh, 121. thousand feet long. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. how many people? Uh, thousand feet long, feet long. Uh, 2,500? 2,500 crew. Yeah, yeah 1,200 crew as well. So, yeah, that's oh, big. Oh, oh, really? So, there's yeah. like, uh, a half a person running the boat for every person that's on it. Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. And next door, next door to us here, I'm just noticing there's another cruise ship, the Crown Princess. It's doing this is very similar size ship ship, so you'll get an idea of what what I'm on here. So, so for for Marjorie's edification, how, yeah. oh, look at that. See, Mar Marjorie hates that, don't you, Marjorie? I would never go on that. No, but you oh, have it's... to go on that if we're going to take the Alaska cruise. <laughs> I said I would go on that for that. But so people, yeah. people tell me you don't feel like there's that many people on the ship. No. No. Uh, well, I mean, we're in port, so people are off the ship, but you see another, there's not another person on this whole deck. Yeah. Well, there's somebody way across there. So it's, yeah. it's nice. It's yeah. nice. So, it, it, yeah, it, it's not as horrible as you think, Marjorie. 
No, you know, on sea days, there's a lot of people by the pool. And at night, you know, you'll see people. But half the people are in the show. Half the people are eating. It's it's not bad. The show? Yeah, they, yeah, they, have oh, use, yeah. they usually every have two night. shows a night. <laughs> every night. Yeah. Oh, God. That's, that's, a, that's the part Tell of me. my... Huh? Tell me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After five or six drinks, you don't care how many people there are. That, that, that's exactly right. I, we talked to a really nice couple last night. We had dinner with them. I mean, it's a wonderful place to just, you know, meet people and have fun. It's It's great. Well, Marjorie's a social one. She'll have to meet the people. I will simply <laughs> go along with it. <laughs> she, hey, Len. Have, yes, sir. Len, Len so nobody's yeah. home right now? Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> make, make a detour coming home from Lodi. So, so the, the one day I invite, invite you over there, and one day I'm not home is the one day you're going to come over. That's nice. I I, I, I'm going to bring my swimming trunks tomorrow and take a dip in your pool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just don't leave a baby Ruth floating in there, will you? <laughs> hello, <laughs> hello, hello to Andrew Deutsch, by the way, who joins us today. Hello, Andrew. Is he there? Can he hear us? Andrew, can you hear us? Wow. He's moving. He's moving, <laughs> but there he is. He's hey. Oh, you, you can hear us, okay, right? Can you hear us? I have to. Oh, it just stabilized. Oh. So, yeah. Sounded like I was at a robot party. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're fine now. You can hear me? Hello? Can you hear me, Andrew? I'm going to log out and log back in. Okay. Sounds like a really bad Verizon commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me if I'm a little. I think it's stabilized. Okay. I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. You can hear us. Okay. Excuse me if I'm a little loopy today because I, uh, I we went to the, uh, upon Marjorie's insistence, we went to the urgent care <laughs> clinic in our neighborhood uh, because I have this, this, sore on my leg where I had the, you know, where I fell and hurt myself and whatever. And uh, uh, we went there and he said, they said, uh, oh, it's infected. So here, take, we'll give you some doxycycline and you can take yeah. that and uh, you'll be, hopefully you'll be better. And I am getting better, but I am just so lightheaded. And then I read <laughs> the doxycycline can make you dizzy. So in combination with the other drugs I'm taking, I'm like really loopy. I mean, I, I'm having a hard time standing straight. Yes, uh, Vernon, did you wave your finger? <laughs> loopy. loopy. Oh, loopy. That's, that's the universal sign for loopy. This is the universal sign for crazy. Uh, this is a universal sign for whoopee. whoopee. And what's loopy again? <laughs> loopy? I can't is, remember. Loopy is. Okay, it's loopy. Anyway, so uh, excuse me if I may be a little loopy. Weird. Oh, look at that. What is that? That's the. Uh, yeah, this that's, is like the central okay. area that, of that the show. drive Marjorie crazy. That's a library down there. There's a tree oh, growing in the center of this thing. <laughs> You know, you're going on a cruise. The last thing you need to see is a tree. There are a lot of them. You just look out the right? window. You know? The only thing I want to see is another cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> so you go to these things to just drink from one end of the day. To the end of the day. You got that well, right. Not, not just, but that is a large component thereof. Yeah. Where are you going, Glenn? Where are you going? Uh, Vancouver down to L.A. So we're going to stop in San Francisco. Why don't you step by and have lunch with us? Oh, yeah, I'll visit you. <laughs> wait, wait Why are you going Vancouver? I'll show you the sights. Why are you doing yeah, Vancouver yeah. to L.A.? You have to go to Vancouver first to get the boat? Yeah, we flew to Vancouver on Saturday, yeah. And yeah, then, and then uh, you're taking yeah. a cruise down to L.A. Yeah, I know. It's, it's and a you live in the Bay cruise. Area and you want to go to L.A.? <laughs> And you we're flying to, right home when we get there. Wait, you want to take a ship to do that? Well, my wife's never been to uh, the uh, Pacific Northwest, and uh, this oh, was okay. a cheap repositioning okay. cruise. So we thought, oh, I'll give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah re repositioning cruises are, <laughs> are the best. 
Repositioning. Yeah, it's what do they call repositioning? They, 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 yeah, dur during the season, they they want the ship to go up to Vancouver or or go somewhere. Like uh -huh. it's doing like the the Washington cruise it, all it, se like half the season. Then they move it down to L.A. to do like Mexico. So when they reposition right, the boat from Vancouver to L.A., it's really cheap. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so, they're, uh, they, they, so they can then take it down to Mexico, and it's just uh, oh, okay. Like this, at the other half of the season, is, it'll run there. You know? Yeah, but it's, I just don't know if I if I were gonna if I were gonna force Marjorie to take a, a cruise like that because she's Alaska. So I'll do Alaska. It's yeah. been doing Alaska. That's what it's been. That's what the ship's been doing. Yeah. It's been yeah. doing Alaska up until Saturday, and now it's repositioning to LA for the winter season. Yeah, because I, you know, I hear the Alaska cruise is just, you've taken it, haven't you, Vernon? Vernon's taken it. Yeah, and the Crown yeah, Prince, I'm... the ship that's next door to, to Lynn there is the Crown Princess was the ship that we were on. And, oh, no and this is it. This is the last Alaska for them. And then they cruise to Hawaii out of L.A. Oh, wow. So they've got a whole a whole circuit they do. Yeah. You want to see the buffet? No. Well, sure, Marjorie. <laughs> no, Marjorie, I'm, I'm, come on. You're so efficient. Let's just see. Uh, are those? Is uh, are we going to eat those people? Is yeah. that? What you're talking about? <laughs> hey, I'm, 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 do, there you go. do the Belushi. Do the Belushi. Stuff a couple of eggs <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs> oh my God. I like the soft Let's... ice cream stand. Well, oh, that's that my favorite. Good. Yeah, they have gelato. Boy, yeah. You've taken cruises too, have you? Oh yeah, I've uh, I've been the Alaska cruise. My favorite was my favorite excursion was the duck cruise. The oh, duck the cruise. duck boat. Yeah, the duck, the duck boat, boat. Rather, right? A duck boat? Yeah, it's a. It has nothing really to do with ducks. It it goes on land and it goes in the water. Oh. Oh, so that's why it's a duck. Boat. Yeah, yeah. I see. You got dessert here. Oh, and what are we? What, what is a, What's to have there? Uh, Boston, Boston cream pie, quinoa, carrot mm -hmm. cake, brownies, uh -huh. and, uh, donuts. We got burgers and pizza over here. Oh, there, there, Marjorie burgers. You can have. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> and how how is how is the food? I mean, sometimes it's quite good, it's quite good. Because when you have that kind of thing, you know, it's a buffet. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they they can either be horrid or just exceptional. Yeah, last night we ate dinner in the main dining room. Yeah. So. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Mandy. I have a question for when. What cruise line is it? This is Celebrity. Oh, um, the celebrity. Oh, are you losing me? Yeah. Yeah. It's a celeb celebrity cruise line. Apparently, they have good Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, 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 yeah they all use Starlink now. Uh -huh. This is the very back of the ship. Oh, so they're oh. using they're using Elon Musk Starlink. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm on I'm on regular 5G, you know, through my service uh, to mobile. So yeah, but once you're out in the uh, on the ocean, you're gonna have well, to use yeah, when you're out. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to anybody when I'm out in the ocean. <laughs> Why not? Well, I, I'm on vacation. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're on vacation right now, and you're talking to us. Yeah, but I like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Got me excited. Yeah, I'm sorry to uh, to take your whole show here, so I'll I'll stick in this for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a not the weather is not that great right now. Right? It's not great. Last night, boy, coming in, it was windy as hell. It was uh, we were bouncing around pretty good, but yeah, but you know, not bad. Yeah, good. well, Marjorie, uh, it, every bone in Marjorie's body is aching now because we've had like two straight days of rain. Three, three, uh, three. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, and my and my bones are aching too. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to rain in Seattle tomorrow. I, I don't know. You know, we'll, we'll get off and do something, I guess. Yeah. Oh, so you get get to get off in Seattle? Yeah, we could get off here if we wanted, but there was nothing to do, so we're gonna get off in Seattle well, wait, tomorrow. Where did, you, we'll... where did you start? Vancouver. Oh, so started, just up the yeah. coaster. Oh, I see. And now you're down somewhere else besides. Now Vancouver. I'm Vic Victoria, so it was only you know, maybe a hundred miles. I don't even know if it was mm -hmm. that far. You could have gone to see Mike Chisholm. He's up in Vancouver. Right? I texted. I texted him. Yeah, we he's, we had a chat. Yeah, he's he's five hours from there by car. He's way over yeah. in Kelowna. Oh, oh he's yeah, in Kelowna. Yes, he is in Kelowna. Yeah. yeah. 
He's, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we had a chat yesterday. Why would anybody in Canada want to live anywhere else but the major cities? Pelona is a big town. It is very nice. It's very nice. It's wine country. Yeah, but if you have to drive five hours to get to it from Vancouver, well, it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere, but you can, it's not the middle of nowhere, but you can see it from there. <laughs> it's not an interstate. It's not an interstate highway going between Vancouver and Kelowna. It's a two-lane road. Really? Oh, wow. That is a highway in Canada. Yeah, in Canada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a freeway. You got to put on your red outfit and mount your horse and <laughs> yeah. take the Dudley Dude Right Trail. Yeah, so there, there are a lot of people. There are a lot of people on your boat right now, right? Some of them just got off to what? Go to wherever you are. Yeah, they're they're going on a short excursion if they book something. But you yeah. see, there's a lot of people here in the in the cafe area. Yeah, well, I I can barely walk anymore, so I'm going to have to stay on the boat. I think you'd be surprised how many people mm -hmm. are infirmed. You know, they will get around on walkers and wheelchairs, and yeah. especially on a cruise like this oh. this time of year. No yeah. kids. Oh, well, good. I'll get myself a walker, and then we can compare notes as to who has the best walker. <laughs> Wait a minute. Isn't that guy Jimmy Hoffa? <laughs> <laughs> they do have a contest in the theater, Alec. Really? They do have a contest in the theater, the most, the most decorative walker. Oh, really? The most decorative <laughs> walker, I see. That's funny. There you go, Alex. Oh boy. <laughs> Say hi to the nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> the people on the ship have been so nice. I mean, every crew member and every it's been wonderful. You see, Marjorie? Mm -hmm. I hear you. Let's try Alaska first. Oh, okay. Um, yes, yes, yes. I mean, I don't Alaska, want one of those. Go. You, can, you can get them. I don't want one of those. I, I don't mind the size of the boat. I what I mind is. I don't want one with a Ferris wheel. <laughs> are we going to go on the Ferris wheel? You don't are want to go down the water slide, Alex? I mean, it, no. You know. are, we, are we setting up the uh, Alex Bennett uh, a cruise cruise ship that we oh, all? Oh yeah, it's going to yes. be the most boring be cruise, cruise any of you have ever taken. <laughs> we can compare. You can it. always get a massage. Yeah, yeah for two hundred dollars. But the last. Yeah. Right, but the Alaska one, you're in the boat and you're going to Glacier Bay and stuff like that, and everybody's outside looking at the you know, looking at the landscape. I mean, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, the ones to Alaska, they don't have like Ferris wheels on them, do they? Or roller coasters? No, no, no. no. I think Jeffrey's trying to talk. I yeah. went there about fifty years ago. So. <laughs> Did you row? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to remember when it was 50 years ago, it probably wasn't a state yet. <laughs> they, they had a hook and they brought the fish in for dinner. <laughs> when I was a kid, I guess it was about 19, maybe 49 or 50 that uh, Alaska and mm -hmm. Hawaii were added to the Union. That's That's right. 59. Yeah. yeah. 59. 1959, that late? Yeah. Both of them, yes. 19. Really? When I was in nice. school, there were 48 stars on the American. Oh, they flag. were on mine too. And then wow. when they the states, I went, well, you have to go awfully far to get to them. They were the only two that weren't part of the contiguous United States. They weren't states. attached. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't attached. You know. There, there's the casino. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, it's closed while yeah, you're in port, though. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. of course, because yeah, they can't gamble down. there. Yeah. Yeah, and these are all the shops. Yeah. Yeah, everything's closed right now because they. Why would I, look? I, 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 maybe I'm just an old fart here, and the, I am an we old. We noticed. You know this. <laughs> yeah. Thank you yeah. very <laughs> much. Yeah. I'm not sure wow. what one has to do with the other. But I don't know if when I'm on a boat, I want to go to a mall. You know. <laughs> I mean, no, why not make it feel everything's like, very expensive? Why not do it something cruise like? I mean, what they're doing is they're sell, is selling you right. a, 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 how, how big a room do you have, by the way? Um, it's a it's a, a balcony room, it's probably 10 by 15, maybe 180 square feet. Yeah, and you got big. a TV set in there and everything, right? Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, got a TV, a, got a bar, a little bathroom. That's nice. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to lose here. I'm gonna, I was going to walk you into the theater. It looks like it's closed, but I'm... You know, well, what are they doing? Oklahoma this week? What, what are they Let's see, we lost him. He's got to go back. So. I heard they're doing the Poseidon Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, my favorite child memory is my back not hurting. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that, Marjorie? I see it and I, I understand it. I should, I should buy you one of those. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, oh, but hey, the writer's strike is almost over with. Almost. Which, oh, which means that the talk shows will get back on the air pretty soon. Oh, goody. Huh? What? So, oh, goody. Yeah. And then uh, let me see here. And then the actors will then probably get. Do you realize since that strike began, do you know how many days they have uh, they have gotten together to try and hammer out a deal? Writers. Writers. I think I it's like six days it could do it okay one of them in the very beginning in the last six <laughs> is the last five in the last week why couldn't they have done that in the beginning how do you know there was no one to write about it <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know uh, that was a good question it, it, really these things they just sit around and my union sag after i think's only met once you know so anyway, um, and what did you say? Nobody got health care during that. I don't think the union was supplying them with health care. No, no, because somebody was complaining that the members didn't have health care during the strike because they were getting their health care uh, either because they were accumulating a certain amount of money from working, uh, or the place where they work had health care or whatever. But they said they didn't have any health care during the strike. Well, why didn't the union supply them with health care? Isn't that what unions do? Am I wrong, Kevin? Uh, I didn't catch it all. I just got here. Oh, oh, Kevin, uh, we were just saying that they, well, anyway, we we're just. I'm late to class. I'm sorry. Huh? Late I'm late to class. class. I'm sorry. That's what I was going to say. Do you have an excuse? Do you have a uh, <laughs> from your. Parents? I was in the potty. <laughs> you were in the potty. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you eating, Brian? Oh, what me? What is no, that? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, no, it's a bag. It's a bag of stuff for my daughter. Oh, I see. Oh. I'm I'm at a light. I'm at a light. You're always doing I just got... You're always doing I just... very <laughs> You know, you're amazing. Here's, uh, here's, a, here's a guy who didn't yeah. become a father until what until uh you were how old five years ago 48 48 seven yeah. years ago yeah. almost eight years ago i think you probably appreciate being a father more at that age than you would have had you had a kid say in your 20s uh definitely because i you, was not a, i was not a good guy in my 20s are you saying the same thing kevin that that's true yeah it, it's a lot different it works better uh, so yeah, you, definitely. You have, uh, when did you have your first kid? At what age? Actually, 48. 48? That yep. was well, that was my third, of course. There was a gap of about mm. years between my others. But that was your third marriage. But no, that was my second marriage, but my third kid. Oh, I see. Okay, so the kid, but when did you have your first kid? Uh, 19... How old were you? 86. Uh -huh. So how old was 86, second was 90, and then the other one was in 05. Oh, you figure it out. <laughs> so which one which one do you think you were a better father with? The, the latest one? Uh all of them, I think. Mm. Really? Okay. <laughs> which is your favorite kid? <laughs> oh, don't start that. <laughs> don't start that. <laughs> you know what? Well, if you don't want to answer that, which one do you want to get rid of? <laughs> I got rid of my last one. <laughs> I got for me. Charlene you know has her hand up. Yeah, uh, yeah who? 
Charlene. Charlene. Yes, I, was, Charlene. I was just going to say, I had my first when I was 26, 27, but I had my daughter when I was 40. And that was, right. you're so much more, um, know what you're <laughs> doing. You know, you, yeah. you're, you're more settled in your life. You Not, also, you also kind of, I guess, are appreciating that because you're getting towards the end of, uh, of, being of your a, life, <laughs> have baby. Not at forty, <laughs> but but also, I have I have money to take you know to send her to dance. I have money to send her to basketball. I have money to take her to Disneyland. When I was in my twenties, I had no money. Yeah, you know? so, so mm -hmm. yeah. I was constantly working. You tell her to go out and get work. a job. Fourteen hours a day. <laughs> So uh, anyway, um, so what was I going to say? There was something I had. To, I had this whole thing I wanted to talk about, and then I forgot what I wanted. <laughs> to talk about. I know, Marjorie, your mother used to say, "I'm not saying a thing." Yeah, <laughs> you can't remember what it is. I'm not going to get in trouble. Yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> so the strike, uh, the writers' strike, is over with, and the writers are the best ones to get back to work first because the stuff has to be written before the performers do it. So the performers still have a little time before they have to do what they do. Mm -hmm. Thank God we aren't, we don't have to see any more Romanian TV shows on Netflix. <laughs> I'm watching them all. Yeah, you, watch, you watch it, all those things. And I, I, I don't understand. South what American, Italian, Spain. I'm watching them all. Yeah. I love and, the Korean ones. The yes. Korean ones are supposed to be pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. Isn't that where Squid Game came from? Yeah, that's where Squid yeah. Game Yeah. Yeah. And but anyway, so, Sunday morning, was it Sunday morning they had a thing on that about how popular the yes. national TV was? Yeah. Yeah, but part of the reason is, is because all these organizations like uh, I just noticed Paramount, for instance, Paramount Plus is running a show that they made in conjunction with the BBC, which isn't on strike. OK, so all these a lot of these, uh, especially uh, and, uh, what do you call it? Streaming uh, sir. Uh, Netflix yeah. are getting these things from every country they can lay their hands on. Yeah. yeah. And if you watch them in English, and you I can. Them, look what, what I got. That's his dog. Oh. That's not Pam. That's not Hey, Pam. guys. <laughs> You're looking that, for babies? That must, that, that, must, that must be a daughter or your new what girl. What do you think? Jeff. <laughs> You're busy. Yeah. Who is that? Is that your daughter? Oh, look what I got. A granddaughter. Granddaughter. Oh, That's wow. a granddaughter. Oh, look at this. How old is she? I don't think she's going to be on the show every week. <laughs> That's your granddaughter. Wow. I like his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Who's shirt? Oh, uh, uh, Charlie. He, he, Charlie always wears the best shirts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he's got something he has to explain to us. So how, Look at my shirt. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, rape state. Thirty-one to zip with Iowa. Can't beat that. Yeah, but you're still known for your rapes more than you. No, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. They're all gone. They're all gone. Yeah. Did I did I see it right that Denver lost seventy to twenty or something after that? <laughs> That's right. Yes. What the hell? Yeah, like yeah. On their home field. We're saying yeah, they were in Denver. Yeah. On their home I field. Can... Yeah. That must have oh, been a grid so you can see everyone. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so um um uh, how old is your granddaughter, Jeff? I'm I'm 15. Oh, really? Because you can't sometimes you can't tell. Yeah. You're, you're a very mature looking 15. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you look like an old bag. That's not. Yes. A, <laughs> I, I'm just saying. It's not a whole, uh, an old bag. That's you look a little yeah. more mature than 15. You know. Well, she's also an athlete, so you better watch out. Really? What kind? What kind of? What kind of sports do you do? I play softball. All oh. right. Yes. 
I'm an umpire. Right. Hey, do, you, do, you, do you like the umpires? Do you like the umpires there? I like some like umpires. umpires. Yeah, some umpires. Okay. O- only the ones that wear goofy shirts. Yeah. The guy with the funny shirt, the guy with the funny shirt is an umpire. Wow. So, well, so, guess what uh, we saw? We saw a 57. So 880. Who was a 57 Buick? Is that right? Really? There's then there's oh, that Albert. 47. There's Albert 47. Folks. Right for you. This is almost becoming this is a lot of people here today. Yeah. You know, by the way, uh I'm being a bad Jew today. <laughs> 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 Because I should not be doing this show. And neither should Jeff, yeah, by the way. Right. Let me, let me, let me, uh, Jeff shouldn't either, because this is Yom Kippur, and this is the highest holy day in the Jewish calendar, which they all compete with each other. They're like, if you're, if you work at BH Photo, which has uh, is, own, is owned by the, uh, as we call them, Yids. Uh, yeah. I don't uh, call them that. They take the holiday, <laughs> they take the holiday off. Yeah, every yeah. holiday off and it seems like every week there's another jewish holiday you know <laughs> but anyway so you, i'm not you can have I should, I for be, dinners. <laughs> and then i said to marjorie she said well you really shouldn't be doing this it's yum kipper and i said did you have your raisin danish this morning he said yeah hello. and i went hello hello yeah right is that how it's pronounced I figured you'd be eating a ham sandwich yum, on the show. Yom Kippur. <laughs> That's how it's pronounced. I thought it was Yom Kippur. It, it, is. it is Yom Kippur. Really, to me, it's Yom Kippur. Well, out, in, out in California, we called it Yom Kippur. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, a brand of fish, I think, the Yom Kippur. Yeah. Well, we, we had a dog that we got on Yom Kippur, and we named him Kipper. Not K-I-P-P-E-R, K-I-P-P-U-R. And other people, nice. other Jews would yell at us going, why are you naming your dog after the most high holy day? Because that's how much we think of him. <laughs> and what makes it the most high holy day? This is the, this is, this is the one that instills the most guilt. The, the day of atonement. <laughs> it's a day, yeah, of, day atonement. of atonement. And you, you, uh, you go and you honor the dead. Okay. You uh, repent and, for your sins. And you atone for your sins. It's and, uh, yeah, and yeah then, but it's then yeah. I guess after it's over, you eat, don't you? Yeah, you're supposed oh. to. You're supposed to ask for forgiveness of all the people that you screwed over. Yeah, yeah. And oh, then, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, then ask uh, the invisible guy in the sky. I'm sorry, Albert. Anyway, <laughs> well, what? I don't know. It's a day of atonement. I'm supposed to apologize for. You got a lot. You yeah. got a lot. A lot more atoning to do than that. Oh well, wait a minute! I wasn't that terrible. <laughs> Let's say a month of Sundays, right? Yeah. yeah. Really? How, you how, doing, how, how you doing, Albert, down there? And the, the doing fine. Oh yeah. Thunderstorms about to come. So. Yeah. I I usually on uh, Wednesday I'm supposed to do uh, Lori, who lives in, and uh, and she is uh, where is she? Uh, I I can't remember what part of the state she's. She's in. up in the northern part. Yeah, but it's supposed to rain in Florida like heavy tomorrow, so she'll probably be inside on this one. You know. It it sure is nice to see her. I used to really like her. No, oh, she's true. She's the best. Yeah, yeah. A hurricane passed through here yesterday. What? A hurricane passed through here yesterday, or a tropical storm, or something like that. You're where? I'm in right now. I'm in Maryland. You're in Maryland. Oh, Southern Maryland. Okay. All right. But I was in Ohio when it passed. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, yes, Jeff. Uh, one thing that Molly would like to know is who is in a certain part of the year is who Santa oh, Claus. I remember one time I came on this a while ago and someone was dressed up as Santa Claus. Well, that would be Kevin. <laughs> that would be Kevin. Kevin, of course. I'm not supposed to tell. <laughs> uh, so he doesn't exist anymore right i'm off this time of the year are you do are you going to do it again this year no you're not doing it anymore right uh, i don't know uh, it depends on what if anybody's in a pandemic or not <laughs> yeah. but you, you uh, uh, you'll always come on <laughs> at christmas time wearing that outfit of yours you got to get you got to get the money's worth out of that outfit 
Right. <laughs> Pretty how much, much. How much do Santa outfits cost these days? Uh, they can go anywhere from about four ninety five to three thousand dollars, whatever you want. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. So the real expensive ones are Father Christmas, right? They're oh, like yeah. you got the full leather belts with the brass bells and the whole bit. Yeah. <laughs> what is what does it cost to get the kids wait, stink wait, wait. off of them? Yeah, no, was, uh, uh, <laughs> no, you leave that on for a fifth. You pay that much money to have something for a kid to urinate all over. <laughs> <laughs> they simonize. Yeah. <laughs> So everything's okay down in Florida outside of the fact that it's raining, right? Oh. Well, I wouldn't say everything's okay, but it just happens to be raining as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you read the news. How could everything be okay anywhere, really? Yeah. Uh, they found no, a homeless lady right. in an alligator. I, I have a question. Uh, the pandemic, the word pandemic was just mentioned. And um, I just got a, a notice and I ordered... The government apparently is uh, allowing uh, people to get free COVID mm -hmm. tests for free COVID mm -hmm. tests again, which started today. You can order yep. them. You, the sent, me, you sent me that link. I sent you the link, yes. But, but, but my understanding was in May, the government says, no, COVID is okay. We're okay. We don't need to do this anymore. So Ju June, July, August, September, it's four months since then. What do they know that we don't know? What's going to happen? Why are we there's giving a, tests again? There's, there's a lot of people. Guy. A lot of people have it's it. On the rise. A lot of people. It's on, it's on the rise again. Ah. It's not. Yeah. It's not the same as before, though. It's not as as uh, bad as the original. No, but it has it's still, changed. It's still, it has changed, Alex. Yeah, I know it has so, changed. Is it a coincidence that, that we're getting these tests at the same time that they've uh, captured uh, some space rocks from a from a meteor from an asteroid? Uh, uh, yeah, is that all, a coincidence? I don't know. I'm not the, the one conspiracy. to spread conspiracy, but yeah, California federal building, Albert Q. The evidence. The, wait, wait, the Bay Area federal buildings. Uh, I say maybe it's the Santa Clara County. Santa Clara County federal buildings start November first. They have to wear masks. Uh, uh, the medical Please. facilities. I think maybe it's the hospitals. Right? Yeah, I thought it was, he's the guy. It was that, just on Halloween. Well, he's the guy that would know because his <laughs> company makes tests, and so they, so, you know. Yeah. So please test yourself. Do some possible. deeper digging as to why we're getting tests now. Let's because digging. I, well, I think it's uh, mostly because most of these people have expired ones in their cabinets, and they want fresh ones. Yeah. Out there. Well, you, how many do we have, Marjorie? I'm throwing them at. It's enough to fit a big plastic bag. Orders. You should check the expiration date. They've already expired. I'm throwing them out. I ordered the new ones that that. Well, don't Albert throw them all out. Get. Keep the newest ones. Now, how, okay. How about that. how about you, Brian? What are the expiration dates on those? Uh, these I just got. Very good. Oh my really? god! Oh my goodness. But you know what uh, else they said they were doing is they were reissuing expiration dates, and you can look up some of the expiration yeah. dates and then use a new expiration date on them. So that's I don't a little know. suspicious too. I have. To <laughs> I think that's all. Eighteen twenty-three. I'm with you, Albert. It's a bit suspicious. All this, you know, all of a sudden, expiration okay. dates are all of a sudden no good. And <laughs> they'll we, last longer. You cookies? better hold on to them. What are yeah, they? Do we need steel cookies too? Yeah. Uh, why don't they make? Why don't they make some that doesn't uh, doesn't you know go bad? For a while? Well, they don't. They don't make money with all the stuff that's around. What you yeah. do, Alex, is you go to a psychic tattoo artist and get the expiration date put on you. <laughs> <laughs> For this the year, Marco. psychic tattoo artist. Yeah, they, they 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 give you your expiration date and they put it right on you. Oh, okay. And then you have your own. By expiration date, what do you mean exactly? What what, what would a psychic <laughs> tell you, Alex? And then what happens if you don't? Your expire? expiration date. What happens if you, you don't you, expire you, on your expiration? You, you, you get your money back. And what happens if you don't expire on your expiration date? Right. Then you're no different from most food because most food doesn't just, expire on its own. Yeah. Well, I wonder when it says when you buy it at like Costco and it says use buy. Well, that's different than expires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is use buy? Oh, okay. Well, then what's different between use buy and expired? Buyers, that's it. 
One's a suggestion and the other one's a mandate. They're yeah. suggested, yeah. I mean, it's just like milk. Milk says I'm, milk on the expiration date it says best are used by, right? I mean, check. Best I mean you can told, still use it a couple so, days after the expiration date. I was told that your medicine that you buy always has oh, yeah. the, a use by date or uh, yeah. use before, right? Yeah. And uh, milk says I checked to best, see if, what does it, it say? Says best if used by. The, my milk from Costco says best if used by September 30th. I see. Okay. I've yeah. never been, met any oxycodone that was no good. Never. I don't care. <laughs> what <laughs> said. Never well, met an good. oxycodone. Here, here's the thing. It, it, usually the most medicines uh, expire a year from the day you buy them. Okay. At least a year. I checked to see online if they really expire that fast, if they can still be used. And the government did the same uh, research because they go out sometimes and buy massive amounts of, you know, uh, uh, prescription medicine for the army and so on and so forth. And found out that most of the prescription medicines you buy, except some of them, a few of them, like the maybe the stillings, you know, the antibiotics and so on, have at least 15 years of life in them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I agree. So so the tests that we make, we we have buffers and we have a lot of chemicals in there. Mm -hmm. And we we have an 18-month uh, expiration. We know we can do more, but we're not going to invest any more money on that, on that whatever disease we're checking, because we already say that 18th month window is a good enough window, but but there can be testing. And if I had one of my tests two years later, I'd still take it and I, I'd look at look at what look at what Albert just did. He did the sign for. Follow the money. It's all about the money. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you want to know if food is bad, you don't look at the side of the label. You smell you it. it. You smell it and you look at it. If it's not, or you give it to your kids first, or, or that, or or you <laughs> get a spoon of it, put it out to, to your wife's mouth and say, "Does this taste bad to you?" <laughs> <laughs> I just, no, I just have to... sometimes when you see it's expired, it tastes bad just in your mind. Yeah. Just Only for hypochondriacs, Alex. Only for hypochondriacs. <laughs> well, I, I don't He's know. Who, the I don't know one, who you're right, referring right, to. Albert, he's the number one. What do you mean I'm the number one? You are. Every day I wake up in the morning, bright and early. I look over at you and say, My back's killing me this morning. It's the only thing, my back <laughs> and my knee. Those are all bone related, but you are always looking for your next illness or cut well or i have this I, I have this prostate situation that's bone ah, related, isn't it <laughs> mandy's trying to so i do the joke again what <laughs> <clears throat> what's happening mandy Al alex was talking about his prostate issue and you're trying to work <laughs> <laughs> now i'm actually talking to my co-worker about about alex knows what it is <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't want to talk about it. Yeah, well, there's nothing horrible outside we of the fact she, she killed we a person and she doesn't want anybody else. <laughs> Mandy, tell us. What? Mandy, tell us. No, 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 no. 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 Because I Alex. think I think it can be seen on your YouTube, right? This is going to be seen on your YouTube. Under yeah. what? Getting married. <laughs> it, it, it can be seen on YouTube, but it doesn't really it doesn't really matter. Okay. Does. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. You know what is it, Alex? I will tell you after the show. I'll message, I'll, message you, I'll message you, Marjorie. I'll message you, Marjorie. I'll message you. No, I want to hear it loud. Oh jeez. I told you I about it. Yes, I, I told her she's pregnant yesterday, but because she's losing, <laughs> she didn't remember. <laughs> Okay. Are you pregnant? No, oh. I'm a little past that. <laughs> Just a hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, now we're gonna be guessing the whole show. Oh, you know, that. It's, 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 it's nothing that would if we revealed it. It's nothing horrible that pertains to her as a person or anything that she has done. I don't yeah. care. You both mentioned it. I think we since we're small. Wow. You Nobody's watching this show, anyways. Come okay. on, turn us when we get at the end of the show. Turn us off. At, at the end of the show, turn us off the live, and then. Alex, I'm just going to say in a very, a 
obscure way. Like someone's messaging me and I don't like it. Oh, don't like oh, it and we want to eliminate that. Person. I stopped oh. a month ago. I, I did too, Mandy. I stopped. <laughs> I stopped a month ago. After the police came is to it, my house, I cut it off. Okay. Wait, Mandy, is it is it the messages or the photos? <laughs> oh, she said it was the messages. The photos weren't that bad, so that was good. <laughs> Well, I, I'm sure all of you have gotten some weird uh, friend requests, right? Well, I, mean, I, I uh, well, no, I've I've very rarely seen stuff like the stuff he was sending her. Okay. It wasn't uh, me. I know it wasn't you. Okay, Who this was is it? Clear, that's all. Uh, we, that's not cool. Doesn't matter he if I, I, okay, okay, he okay was, all right, it was. Okay, was I'll sending? tell you who it was. It was Donald Trump. Okay. Uh, <laughs> junior or senior? <laughs> yes. Trump was saying send nudes. <laughs> but I mean, it was, oh, just, it was one of those kind of things that you go, you know, th this is the why social media probably should die a horrible death, you know, is because people do stuff like this. Well, and then said her because she knows that that person might be watching and she didn't want him to. So I made sure. Yeah watch this show oh good okay that's yeah. what uh, are you all happy now no yes i shouldn't have said sorry i apologize i apologize Mandy, just tell us what it is no we, we just told you. that's what it, that, that, that was it yeah really. jackass is sending her stuff that he shouldn't excuse me marjorie does not remember that. anything i tell her five <laughs> seconds after i say it so <laughs> i'm gonna mess with you well, I do have memory issues. I do have memory issues. I'm going to message you, Marjorie. So, okay. yeah, yeah. I'll come down but, to Georgia. But to let you all so. know, I do have memory issues. Hey, do you remember me? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you just say? I have no idea. <laughs> My dizziness and her inability to remember things. But, uh, Anyway, so my, my thing is healing up from the medicine I took, but I'm just so loopy. Jeez. Look at that. How many more days this on is that the day? biggest boat I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. <laughs> I've never, I've never yeah. been on one of these boats, you know? It's it's pretty and this is a this is a medium sized ship. The new ones are two hundred and fifty thousand yeah. tons. <laughs> yeah, but I don't I don't want any the passengers of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and me. The, crews, the passengers. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, no the whole sure. ship weighs about three tons more after the cruise because of all the weight people have gained from eating <laughs> the buffet. And, and <laughs> At least food. 10 pounds every cruise. Oh, easy. Really? Easy. Yes. Wow. I'm going wow. back to my cabin. I don't know if my wife's asleep or not or what she's doing, but she's going to take oh. a nap. We'll find out <laughs> in a minute. Yeah, we are, right? Hi, honey, you're live. <laughs> Where am I going here to? It looks like you're in a hotel. It doesn't look like you're yeah. on a ship. I want to it's feel huge. like I'm in a ship. You know. Well, let me That's just tank. let me see if I can. Is this? A, there's a long hallway here. I'll show you down. You won't believe how far. This We're watching goes. it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at look at that. <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or. And that's that's maybe a a quarter, not even a quarter, an eighth of the ship. Like, yes, yeah, sign me up for a big cruise any day. <laughs> well, we'll do it. We, we'll be able to afford to do it. We'll do it once. I'll do the one to like Alaska. It, I'll probably hate it more than you will. I'll anyway. do Alaska. Unless there's some young, young women everybody, I can every, up Everybody on. say hi. Say hi to Barbara. Hi. <laughs> hey, Barbara. <laughs> Uh, I'm taking a nap. Well, let's see what the room looks like. Yeah, that's a pretty, All right, there's, good, there's a pretty good size room. She is it's nice. It's got a balcony. Yeah. 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 So, what I'll show you the want? bathroom. I'm sure that's very exciting, too. The uh, celebrity what ship eclipse. is that? Your stuff is the bathroom's up. actually really nice. It's a nice, it's a nice one. That's <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's celebrity eclipse. Yeah. The problem is, so, it's on its way to yeah. Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I wish. Boy, it doesn't need to be. They'll take your money right there on the ship. Yes. Oh yes, they Family will. Right there, baby. Oh yeah. There was oh, nobody yeah. here on uh, today from New Jersey, right? No. Okay. Because you know we had this whole thing with Menendez, uh, and uh, do, you, do you think Menendez should quit? Yes. yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
he should have left themselves. If, if we go with this whole thing about uh, about uh, Santos, well, no, about you know not being guilty until proven that. Uh, I think it's a little early for them to ask him to resign. Yeah. I think it should be conditional on George Santos quitting. What'd you What'd you say, uh, Albert? I said I think it should be conditioned on George Santos leaving. Yeah, yeah. Or Jim Jordan. What What did he do outside of being a jerk? He sat there and just watched uh, what's his name abuse all those wrestlers with, without reporting it. That's so, yeah. why when you when I spell his name, it's G Y M, Jim Jordan. Yeah. Well, you know the guy. Uh, the guy they say they caught him with how many bars of gold? <laughs> oh my god! Allegedly, eight tons. Allegedly. Well, here's what he says. He they found something like five hundred thousand dollars worth of money in cash, hidden yeah. in his clothes, hidden in his clothes, and so on. And he said that he comes from Cuba, and ever since they were living in Cuba. Anywhere they live, he goes to the bank every every week or something and takes out a certain amount of money and has it at home in cash. In and what about the gold? Well, wait, let, me the gold? let me finish with this. Yeah. And I, you can feel, oh, that's a flimsy excuse. But I do that. I put about 400 bucks in the drawer every couple of weeks or every month. Oh. And you do the same thing, right, Charlie? Yeah. So I can't okay. believe if that's his excuse. I'll go along with, you know, the bars of gold and the Mercedes. I don't know what's with that, you know, because you don't exactly go down to your ATM and spit out bars of gold, okay? So, yeah. They're holding up the bed. <laughs> they also said they have DNA on the uh, on the money. And the person that gave it to them. Yeah. How are we? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, somebody has something. I hear audio. Or something. Land, 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 ship. It's, it's me. Land. I don't know how to mute this. Thing. I'm just going to go ahead and go since uh, we're almost done here. Hey, but man, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so yeah. much for your tour today. Very nice. I of thought course. I was on vacation. Bye -bye. <laughs> you guys have a great rest of your show. We'll talk okay. to you next week. Bye bye. Okay. bye, -bye. Now, that we've, now that we've seen Len's trip, Marjorie, what do you think about going on a cruise? <laughs> I go to Alaska on a big cruise. That's it. Okay. Well, and if you nice like group. that, what we go on another cruise? Well, let's oh. see how this one gets. Yeah. gets I want to. I just go googled that um, cruise line when he said it was celebrity. I just googled it, and they have cruises all over. And there was one that was uh, googled the or I clicked on the part that was Mediterranean, and they have like a seven night cruise that goes through Venice, Croatia parts of Greece and then back to Rome. It's like four hundred and fifty dollars. Really? But I mean of course you gotta fly over. Gotta there, get but there, still. But yeah. yeah, you gotta it's not fly bad. Four hundred and fifty, yeah. I think probably is that for is that all encompassing everything? I think so. No. Nah, you don't think there's so? All, there's fees and stuff, but it's pretty you close. No, I, they'll they'll get you what were you what were you saying, uh, uh Albert? I said they'll get you with poor tax and a bunch yeah. of uh, other stuff that you didn't even what? imagine. Yep. Really? Yeah. Uh, and and, uh, um, uh, and also you have to swim next to the boat. <laughs> that probably. It's probably a cabin in the bottom of the boat with no window. And... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's still the price. cabin anyway? Well, we're waiting for some money to come in so that we can go do some of these cruises. Uh, and I hope it happens soon because I don't know if I'm going to last that long. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to last. That's for sure. Yeah, so you know, the first thing we're going to do is schedule a, t a tour, but I have to find somebody to do it for us because I don't, I don't understand the okay, whole. Okay, we'll deal with it, Alex. We'll take care. Of God. I'm going to call Barbara. Yeah, yeah. And well, she knows. She knows about villas. We're thinking. Oh, that's what we're villa. talking about. Yeah, and, uh, and and we can't take you all at once, but you're all invited to come to our villa if we rent it for. You know. Where Where is this? Um, we decided probably Tuscany. It, oh, it, Tuscany, maybe Italy. Yeah, there's a there's a good Olive Garden there. <laughs> maybe Spain. Spain would be nice too. You know, second trip. Yeah, I'll come translate for you. But no, that seemed like a good idea to us because you know it's not a cruise. We're old. And a lot of these things I see, they say like you know, 
five thousand dollars for a week okay fine and it says uh, sleeps 10 and i'm going well wait a minute there's only two of us so i can we can start inviting people you know and maybe we do like two weeks and do it in shifts or something mm -hmm. um so you know but uh yeah it'd, it'd be i think that's my idea of a good time where i can just sit around all day and and also, you can you know, a lot of these places have have chefs you can hire that will come in and cook for you, and do, uh, local cuisine. It's I think the idea of a villa really appeals to me. Me too. And like you go to a place like Tuscany, you're near Siena, you're near mm -hmm. a lot of little towns. Yeah. Well, Florence is in Tuscany, isn't it? That's right. It's one of yeah. the towns. It's, it's the one town that I couldn't see because she was limping around. I saw Tuscan. No, that's Sienna, Alex. No, no, you couldn't see Sienna. You, you couldn't see Florence either. You, by the time we got to Florence, we had to wheel you onto the plane. <laughs> so I never really got to see Florence. And, and this, is the, see, this is the heart of art in, in <laughs> Western civilization, you know? All right, so we'll see it this time around. Yeah, but uh, the one thing I did get in Florence mind you i didn't get to see florence for the most part but we stayed in florence is i got a ticket which Just i got once it. like once i came home i got the ticket i didn't get it while i was there supposedly yeah. there are signs which are all in in, in, in italian. italian italian i couldn't read it said <laughs> uh no going the, one way from three to four o'clock in the afternoon or something like that well, I don't know what that sign says, you know, and so I, I the, but then they have these cameras take pictures. All right. So I finally, when I got home, I got a thing from, uh, I think it was Hertz saying you got a ticket in, in Florence and it was like 150 bucks. Hmm. You know, it's almost like subscribing to like, uh, you know, streaming service. Uh, <laughs> that's how expensive it was. That's it's what I wanted to talk about quickly. Ah. The, the, the streaming services. We just got a notification that Prime, which is part of your, your uh, what do you call it? Your uh, Amazon. Amazon. Uh, is going to go to uh, with commercials. And if you don't want it with commercials, you're going to have to pay another like $3 a month. I mean, all <laughs> these people are just raising their prices like crazy. Hulu just jumped us up Hulu, yeah. About eight dollars a month, and they're all doing it every month. Yeah, every one of them. Yeah. Now I think the best one, if you, I've said this before, and I'll say it again, is Apple Plus. I think they do yeah. great programming. They're kind of like HBO used to be in quality. Yeah, exactly. Um, meanwhile, Max, which used to be HBO Max has completely sullied that brand. It's horrible. It's well, it fucked bad. HBO up royalty. Yeah. And then um, um, Netflix, I'm not crazy about. Marjorie is. She likes I it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, let's see here. Disney, I get that with the Hulu thing, so I don't have to worry about that. But I'd say if you were going to get any one service that will give you the biggest band for your buck for six ninety nine a month, Apple Plus is the way to go. You know, for now, that's now. all going to change until they yeah. jack their prices up. Exactly. Well, they did jack their price up. It was four. It was four ninety nine. Now it's six ninety nine. But you know, it, it's good programming. We were looking and saying, "How much of this stuff do we watch?" And we were amazed how much of it we watched. Yeah, and good quality. Good quality stuff. Really good quality stuff. Anyway, let's see here. How are we? Uh, how are we doing? We're, of course, we're running out of time here, but I just want to look and and see um, uh, uh, how I I had, didn't look to see if we were even going out okay, which we are, I'm sure. Yeah, there we go. There you are. Okay, so we're all there. Anyway, this has been really nice. Nice, uh, nice yum kipper we all spent together. Yum kippur. Yum kippur. Yum kippur. If I can't pronounce it, do I have to celebrate it? Nope. Okay, good. Uh, uh, Mandy, thank is you. The ham, is the ham ready? 
Huh? Is the, is the ham ready? <laughs> yeah, we're well, having the traditional yum kipper ham. Right. <laughs> and and we're starting out with a shrimp salad. Mmm, lobster bisque. See, nobody, does anybody understand the jokes we just pulled? Yes. Uh, oh, okay. You understand. There's something not kosher about that joke. Safe jokes. Uh, Mandy, you say you understood the jokes. Do you know what trafe is? No. All the different things we were just mentioning is traif. That you're not allowed to eat. It's unkosher, yeah. If you're yeah. Jewish. It's not that different from halal, oddly enough, with the Muslims. <laughs> it's also it's... known as food bullshit. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. Let me explain something here. In the old days, it doesn't apply anymore because today you're not going to get, you know, trichinosis from ham. But in those days, in the days when they made these things trade, these were health laws because if you didn't abide by them, you might die. And they had to separate yeah. the ham from everything else. Now they just my, circumcise my, my the business, hog and My you're business good. manager, Gary, <laughs> you know, you've met Gary Albert, mm -hmm. uh, is, uh, is completely kosher, raised in a kosher home. And I said, how could you have gone your whole life without eating a, eating a lobster? Yeah. <laughs> and he said, you're never going to miss something you never had. You know, so I. You know, there was some lady out here that got sick from tilapia and lost all her limbs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. that lady, that girl. Yeah. Like I didn't hear about that. A week before. Yeah. From, from eating what, Vernon? Tilapia. Was tilapia. I don't know. It, was, it had a bacteria in it. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. I'm pretty but, sure Mc my daughter kept mentioning that when I was in New York, she's like, oh, we can't touch that because there, or we can't get near that because there's flesh eating bacteria everywhere. Like when we were, what's, what's that belt? It's on like a belt line trail. You guys like risen above the ground as a high line or something. Yeah, the high, line. Cool? the high line. Yeah. We were on kids like splashing in this one part of the water and she was like, oh, they're going to get that flesh eating. <laughs> I was like, very paranoid about that kind of stuff, but apparently that there was something going around. It is nasty, though. Yeah, well, happened. you know, I just quickly, I they're they're having a live 105 reunion out in California this weekend. That oddly enough, I wasn't invited to. <laughs> uh, which uh, um, Mar uh, what's your name, uh, Lori wants me to send them a video so they can play it uh, at this. Uh, Why were you invited? I don't know. Nobody managed to invite me, you know. You were a big shot then. I was the biggest thing on that station, for crying out. What, am I wrong? Uh, 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 Anyone? Brian? You I'm, were the headliner, yes. I was the headliner, yeah. Yes. And why are you sending them a video? Well, I'm I'm thinking of not doing it now. And if I do it, I'm going to nothing to think about. I'm don't do mention, it. I'm going to mention the following fact. Our... Our um, our poor, our street people here are better than their street people. Okay. Put that in the video. Yeah. What'd you say? Ma Mandy, did you say something? Oh, I thought you did. Somebody's talking to Brian, I think. Oh, no. Oh. That wouldn't be Mandy. She never talks to Brian. <laughs> Right. Look who's there. there. Oh, look yeah. who's there. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, so, uh, sorry, we could barely hear you. Sorry, to make too much commotion. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> hey, thank you, Mandy. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thank you to uh, Charlene for being here. Always like having yeah. you. Oh, I'm yeah. in my house. Uh, 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 Charlie Wallace, thank you. Uh, thank you to Jeff. Thank you to Marjorie. Uh, thank you to Brian and yeah, Adrian. Adrian. Okay. <laughs> what a smile. Boy, she's growing up. Yeah. Yes. She's outside. She's just not. Just... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> There's a time in your life where you'll stop doing that. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, Albert, always great to see you. Wait, see you at the Live 105 reunion. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> see you at the Live 105 reunion. Yes.
Thank you, uh, Albert. Good to see you again. I got to call you and do some more videos with you. Although I still have one more to play off this week. So, you know, but, uh, but uh, I love the conversation we have. And Vernon, wonderful. Thank you for being here. And now we're going to finish this whole thing off by having uh, Edward Burgess sign us off by saying, That's all, folks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, everybody. How are you? See you later.